All right, Mark Nees here, NeesDesign.com. I'm going to show you a quick way to get your websites online, um, from mock-ups to actually being able to upload them to a server and having them function. Um, this is a really neat trick. I didn't know about fireworks. Well, I knew about it, but I didn't know much about it. And I, and I learned about it recently, and I figured out more and more. I'm going to give you a basic instruction here on how to take a, a site, a concept from Photoshop, and get it online using fireworks and the export um, process that they have there for slicing which if you slice on Photoshop before and then you slice on fireworks you're going to be amazed at how quick it is so we're going to go to Photoshop we're going to go to file new go to your preset select web go to your size select 800 by 600 press OK that's all you need to do you're going to press D that's going to set your foreground background colors to the default black and white now the next thing you're going to do is press G, that's going to give you a paint bucket tool, left click, fill the canvas. Now, you're going to press X and then T. What that's going to do is going to get your pipe tool, but it's also going to flip your colors there at the bottom, your foreground and background, so we get our white text. Now, um, let's do 24 points for our logo. Um, we're going to make a fake photography site, and we could call it Edgy Photography. Okay? Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make another um, little text entry here, and this is going to be for the navigation. We've got our logo here, and now we're going to do our nav. So I'm going to make a home button, um, and I'm going to make it a little small. I'm going with 18 points. I'm going to duplicate that once, and then make the about. And I'm going to duplicate, oh, you hold alt and shift and click and drag. That's how I kept it in line. So, and then I'm going to do the same thing again after I make the about. So, Alt, Shift, Click, and Drag. Let go of the click, bang. There you go. Now we can make a portfolio section. And then we can Alt, Shift, Click, Drag, and make a contact button. Now, for the scope of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it very simple. This tutorial, though, can be expanded upon, and that I will do once I get the time. And I'm going to keep showing you more and more techniques to speed up your workflow in web design. Um, but for now, we're going to keep it very simple. So, we're going to need an image to put in here. So, press M or click up here for your rectangular marquee tool. Then you're going to click and drag, like so. We're going to make a little space to fit our photo in. Um, a lot of photography um, portfolios have this black look with the big photo to kind of highlight their photography chops and that's what we're going to do so once you got your box selected we're going to steal an image from google images so i'm going to make a new uh, window here and i'm going to go to um google and get into the google images section and i'm just going to take a picture of the desert i'm going to go with large all right that looks cool Click, get that full size image. Obviously, this isn't your image, this is for learning purposes. If you steal the image and actually try to pawn off that you're a photographer, you're an idiot. But, you know, whatever, man, whatever you want to do. So, we're going to right click, copy image. You can close that out now, it's no big deal. Come back here, go to, go to edit, and then select paste into. Then uh, you can drag around your desert picture. Notice we've got a layer mask up here now, so it's not going to leave, but if you extend outside of the photo's uh, proportions, you're obviously not going to have anything. Um, another way we can fill this gap properly is you can press uh, Apple T, and then you'll get your little square here, and then you can click. Make sure you hold shift when you're uh, scaling so you don't lose your proportions. That's pretty neat. We're going to go with that. Now, um, oh yeah, to round this thing off nicely, we're going to put some um, some copyright information down at the bottom. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, let me just steal my copyright information from nicedesign.com since I don't know how to make a copyright symbol on Mac off the top of my head right now. And I think it'd be faster just to do it this way. So, here's my copyright info here. If I could get it, that'd be great. So, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it down here a little bit smaller than that too this isn't nice design this is edgyphotography.com damn done there now um, I think we're good now we can go and save this so uh, 
Apple S or Control S if you're on a PC. We're going to name this Edgy Photography underscore state one. Now with states, you can actually make different states of your web page on your um, Photoshop documents and that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to go into multiple states now because that's a little too much but when I expand upon these tutorials and do more tutorials later on that way I will be able to um, to show you. But for now we're just going to keep it basic. So we're going to save that. Whatever man. We're going to open up fireworks now. Go to file open. Open your photography state. Now um, I'm just going to hide Photoshop so it's not in the way and it's not as confusing. I'm also going to hide my browser. And yeah, so we've got everything here, the pixel dimensions, the height, the, um, the height and the width here, the resolution, leave it all the same, leave this the same. You, like I said, you can have multiple states and you can have multiple layer comps represented as states. Ignore all that jargon though. Then we're going to go down here to maintain layer editability over appearance. This is important. This is what Fireworks does. It makes it so you can cross integrate between the two programs. So keep that right. Now, once you're all set, include guides if you have any. I didn't. I'm going to slice in here. Once you have all this stuff, you know, the same, which actually we didn't change anything, just press OK. All right, the first thing you're going to notice if you scroll is you've got this big, ugly box blocking you from doing anything. That's simply this layer mask and the big picture that we just took. So we could just go click this once, left click it, right click, and then we are going to flatten selection. That's going to bring your, um, your layer mask like so. Now, we're going to quickly slice this and get this online. So you're going to press K or click right here. This is the slice tool. You're going to click and drag. Make it nice and neat. Make it even. Kinda. I know I'm kinda rushing, but whatever. So keep dragging, slicing. Notice it kinda locks for you, which is nice. You can obviously change that in preferences if it's bugging you. Um, slice it up. Now, I like I said, I'm keeping this simple. So I'm just going to demonstrate that we can link these little buttons here. Um, we're just going to for fun link this to Google. If you come down here, when you click on one of your slices, you can go into the links and then you can fill in your link. Since it's a global link, notice I'm putting the HTTP, all that jargon, um, all that stuff so we can actually leave our site. Now, all this is set. We're all good here. And obviously, if you can do it there, you can do it on all these buttons and the picture and this as well. And I'm going to get further into that later in future tutorials. But just let's export it, show you what it looks like. Oh, one more thing before we export. Go into Canvas and select black. That way, when we export it, it's not black on white, and it's black on black. So it doesn't look stupid. Now, you're going to go to File, Export. You should be about all set. I'm just going to run through the options myself and make sure everything's good. Um, you're gonna, you can change the HTML styles. Obviously, you've got all these different ones here. Um, we're just going to leave it on Dreamweaver right now. Um, you can put a background picture and repeat it. You can change the page alignment. You can do all kinds of stuff here. We're just going to leave everything normal for now. And then we're going to press OK. We're going to call this index since it's our home page. Now, what's cool about this, and let me make sure I'm good to go. What's cool about this is when we export, it's going to slice all these images for us and it's going to put it in the same folder, which is really cool and really fast. And if you've done it on Photoshop, it's way more of a pain than this. You're going to press export. It's done. Now we just got to find our index.htm. Enter. Open it up. There's our site. Now, obviously, um, I'm showing you the basic stuff. Our link works fine. And, I mean, really, I had no idea about this stuff. And I had no idea how simple it was. So believe you me, I'm going to be developing a little bit more in fireworks. Um, the next time when I come back and when I show you more about this, I'm going to show you how to get multiple states. Uh, eventually, I'm hoping to demonstrate how to get a slideshow in here for a photography site, show you how to do all this stuff in fireworks, because I think it's neat. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's really quick. And I think if you kind of sided away from it because you're unfamiliar, um, I would suggest maybe cracking open a couple tutorials, maybe get a book on this. It's very neat, very effective, and very efficient.